Hey, it's Big Rat. Three. Turn back again. I've tried to make this video five times. I don't know why it doesn't upload. I made this video three days ago. It didn't upload. So I thought, okay, this thing's broken. And then my brother uploads the video successfully. And I'm like, okay, what the fuck? Maybe mine's too long. So then I make a lockdown video. That gets uploaded. A Q&A. That gets uploaded. But my other video still doesn't fucking go there. And it's starting to piss me off. So I got on a new computer, and I'm trying to do this all over again. I know it seems like I'm doing a lot of videos today, but uh, my brother, Dunder Mifflin, 123, is very sick. He has a uh, migraine and a fever, so we're not going to go anywhere for a while. So I'm kind of stuck in the house watching this. It's not really a punishment. It's the classic. I just saw the... Uh, Rock Triple H ladder match. Well, I do think it's very, 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 very good. I'm not sure if I would put it in my top five ladder matches like you did, but we all have our own opinions. Now, I'm just gonna finally try to get to this video for once. Now, look, RVD Tito. I have made two videos basically ranting and screaming at these guys, and I don't want to do that. RVD Tito for life. If you're watching, which you might, because I'm gonna send this to everyone I know who has a thousand subscribers. I'm going to send this video to you, and I'm asking you to send it to them to make sure they get it. I'll also send it directly to them, but I doubt they'll watch it. Please, I'm begging you guys, just do this for me, because I, I need to get my message across there. I want to do this in the most respectful way I can, because I respect you two. You two are, while I don't agree with you all the time, you still guys do make great videos. So, You say WWE has been bad for several years, yet the last time you saw WWE, last like, time you... Well, last pay-per-view you saw of WWE before WrestleMania was June of 2006. Hmm. RDT for life. How do you know it's been bad for years if you haven't even seen it since 06? You can't say that. Like, I could say... Oh, I'm here. I'm just trying to give you an example. Okay. In uh, 2005, when... Uh, remember, I, started wa I watched TNA in 2004, but, and then I left it because I didn't want to have to pay 10 bucks a week. And so in 2005, and by the start of 2006, I could have said, you know what, TNA has sucked in whole 2005. But I can't make that statement because I didn't see it. And it actually was a very good year for TNA in 2005. Probably their best year, some people say. So you can't make a statement when you're not even watching the damn show. That's unfair. And I'm sorry, that's showing complete bias. You're just, that's trashing it to the V. You're calling it bad, but you haven't even seen it. That's trashing the WWE. Just automatically assuming it's bad, and that's bad for anyone on here. You say they haven't created stars since 2002. Now, I didn't want to name too much because it could take the whole video, so I'm just going to name around six or seven. I know you said Cena and Randy Orton. Batista, they made it to a star. CM Punk, they turned him into a star. Say what you want about, oh, you're from ROH. No, no, WWE made him into a star. Mr. Kennedy is becoming a star. Rey Mysterio, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me that WCW or ECW was actually considering putting the title on Rey. Because I doubt to hell they were going to give Rey that title. They made Jeff Hardy the star. They made Matt, not Matt, they made Edge a huge star. It's not like he had a long lasting impact in the Attitude Era. Um, a little more. They're turning Evan Bourne into a star. They're turning Vlad. They try to turn Vladimir Kozlov to a star. They turn fucking Jack Swagger into a star. WWE makes stars all the fucking time. Whether we like the ones they make or not, Kozlov as an example, that's not really like our call. Also, Chris Jericho tried to tell me that uh, WWE turned him into a heavyweight contender by 2001 where he won the world title, and then the brand extension helped further along his path. RVD won the world title with WWE. Not with ECW, not with WCW as Robbie V, but with WWE. WWE makes stars all the freaking time. Not to mention, especially now, when they're getting from SCW, which I see a future, a future potential stars in TJ Wilson. I can see D.H. Smith going famous. MVP most likely can become famous. So, I don't, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to disagree with that statement completely. You say that WWE is only marketing. You know what? I'm going to tell you this once. Vince McMahon has an amazing mind. An amazing mind. One of the smartest people in the world. 
I'm pretty sure that he could have made more money in another industry. I know wrestling is a profitable industry, but I guarantee that if Vince really, if all Vince cared about was money, he could have found a better industry, and I guarantee he could have made a shitload more money than the, the amazing amount that he has now. Like, uber rich, like, in the trillions and do so dillions. If you guys don't know that, that's 12 zeros. No, it's like 20 zeros in, a, in one number. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Vince, if all he cared about was money, he could have found a better industry to work in. Now, WWE, in my opinion, has been very, has been doing very well, uh, 2009 and 2008. You say that Lockdown is going to be better than WrestleMania. You say it's a stacked card. I'm sorry, even though I'm going to watch Lockdown, I don't see a stacked card. I see three matches that intrigue me, maybe four, but that fourth one can easily fall flat. The fourth one I'm talking about is the Team 3D Beer Money. If you're going to advertise a pay-per-view as all cage matches then why are you going to have one that's not in the cage? That ruins the, the credibility, the value of lockdown of every match in a steel cage. So now you can just say, oh, no, never mind, we'll just not have a cage match this time. Not have a cage match this time. No, you're curting the pay-per-view. There's only three matches I might be looking forward to. The uh, Lethal Lockdown, Escape, and the uh, IWGP Junior Tag Titles, which could fall flat because cage ma a cage match, I've said this before, that hurts this match. Because they can't do suicide dives through the ropes. They can't do moonsaults off the turnbuckle with everyone on the outside. They can't. The cage, like, limits them. The, do I see one person going to the top and jumping on to everyone else? Yes. But I personally would rather have eight people doing suicide dives and moonsaults like crazy. Um, so I'm sorry. And besides that, the rest of the paper just looks weak. Mick Foley sting. Yeah, very, very tough and anticipating. Two old guys where Foley can barely walk. Good job. Uh, the Queen of the Cage, which was crap last year, and it's going to be crap this year. The Women's Title Match, which Angelina Love and Taylor Wilde. It's going to be like Bound for Glory, where I was actually looking forward to the Bound for Glory one with Roxy, because they never gave Roxy the title shot. And it was a five-minute squash where Roxy ate the pin from Taylor Wilde. With a German suplex, my head. you. <laughs> so that's what this match is going to be like. Maybe Angelina Love is going to win this one, but it doesn't look... Eh. Anticipating the Doomsday Chamber of Blood. It was a million dollar idea last time at Hard Justice 07, wasn't it? No, Hard Justice 07 was a pretty bad pay-per-view. That might have been the worst match. Because they they hired our hopes. For LAX VK, we knew the match was trash. And you know what? They gave us trash. We're like, okay, well, we already expected that. We already we saw, you know, Black Rain and Chris Harris. What the fuck can Black Rain do anymore? Okay, we expected that. But for the Doomsday Chamber of Blood, we were expecting a lot, a lot, a lot. And we got crap. And the match was really short, and it was just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. So I'm going to put Abyss and Morgan in a feud that is god-awful. That Abyss already won the first match. So the feud should end it right there. When the face wins cleanly, then it's over. Because you already know he can beat the heel, so why does he have to keep fighting? Boom. That feud should have ended two months ago. How much do y'all Bonatucci for Sierra Young in a dark match. Yes, I'm looking forward to see a celebrity get into the ring because those matches are always, you know, successful. So, yeah, Lockdown is definitely not a stacked card. I definitely don't think it's going to be better than Mania. I don't even think it'll be better than Backlash. Backlash is looking really good. Cage Swagger for the ECW title. The I Quit match with the Hardys. The uh, six-man tag for the title. And the last man standing match between Cena Edge. Backlash, to me, is more stacked than Lockdown. Right there, out of the four matches... I want to see four of them. For lockdown, out of eight matches, I want to see three of them. WB already won. I'm sorry. I just can't say lockdown's going to be better than me. It doesn't look that great. I am going to watch it, but still, I'm going to watch it just because lockdown 2006 was probably my, teen my favorite TNA pay-per-view of all time. And I'm going to watch it just because that pay-per-view did so well that I can trust it. But 2007 did it wasn't really that great. 2008 sucked. If 2009 sucked, I might lose my faith in lockdown completely. So, I better hope they do well. Are you Tito for life? I think it's not fair. I mean, I know you guys worked for TNA, and when you work for a company, you have a special love to it because you worked for it, but you haven't been around the WWE, so it's really not fair that you say they've been shit. If you've actually watched, they've been actually very good. And I did my, you said TNA's good, 10 months, bad, 2 months. Well, you know what? Um... The Shinshinik sucked. Against All Out sucks. I thought that uh, Genesis wasn't great. It was a two-match pay-per-view. Final Resolution sucked, and Genesis, to me, was pretty bad. I only liked one match. It was just kind of bland. Five months already. It's bad. That's how I prove it. 310. Out. Peace.